During a highly watched appearance on the popular morning radio program The Breakfast Club rapper actor Shad Moss, also known as Bow Wow or Lil Bow Wow claimed he was a member of the Dog Pound Gang. The Dog Pound Gang was one of the top acts on Death Row Records, the legendary yet infamous rap label. Few people were aware of his history with the label and a major online controversy developed regarding the authenticity of his claims. Original Dog Pound members producer rapper Daz Dillinger and rapper Corrupt posted an online video that failed to completely clear up the controversy. Original Death Row vocalist Nancy Fletcher gave a statement that explains how Bow Wow became a Death Row Records artist. Nancy is widely considered the definitive female voice of West Coast hip hop and G Funk due to her groundbreaking work with iconic West Coast rappers such as Tupac Shakur, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and Ice Cube, among others. She Posted the following statement along with a childhood photo of Bow Wow it reads, This is how Shad Moss or Lil Bow Wow looked when we came to Death Row Records, except his hair was braided like Snoop's. He was only five years old. We were on the first date of the Chronic Tour with Run DMC Onyx and the boss in Cincinnati, Ohio. Bow Wow was already a major superstar celebrity in his city which is how he attracted the attention of Dawes and was able to come backstage. We were all cramped in this tiny dressing room, about 20 of us, when he came in with his mother's boyfriend Doug who was so instrumental in developing Bow Wow's career. Just imagine a miniature version of Snoop walking in, he was so adorable, double exclamation mark. DRE told him to rap and he started flowing and was dope double exclamation mark. While everybody else was trying to be cool and hard I screamed OMG, he's so cute, sign him DRE sign him. DRE looked at me and was like calm down, just chill. I think Bow Wow performed on stage that night but one thing that I do remember is that him and Doug got on the bus with us that night with only the clothes on their back and never looked back. He finished the tour with us then moved to LA. The first thing he did was a skit on the Doggy Style album. He did every kid's voice. DRE had about four tracks and had him do a different kid's voice on each track plus the main character. Doug's brother played the teacher. DRE was so behind schedule turning. This album and so we had to do all the skits at the same time real fast. Bow Wow was so talented, quick, and professional clapping hands sign he really came through in a crunch. After that he made an appearance on the Arsenio Hall show. Then everybody got busy and no one really had time to work with him so he had to go back home to Cincinnati. His mom Teresa called me and said he was so depressed and was thinking he did something wrong. She asked if he could come back to Los Angeles and stay with me just so he could be around the guys so I said, cool. She couldn't leave her job so he would get on the plane all by his lil self. One time I was late to pick him up from the airport and when I got there he was standing at the gate between two stewardesses with his arms crossed and was heated. He looked at me and said, I'm a kid, how could you be late to pick up a kid, rolled his eyes and walked right past me to the exit. I was like but had zero clap back. So I would drag him all around LA to any and every studio DRE and Snoop was at begging them to do a song on him. I thought it would be easy since there was no kid out like him at the time. But as much as they loved Bow Wow and wanted to do his project Death Row wasn't a very kid friendly label so it was going be hard to market him. DRE admittedly told him I don't know what to do with him. So he had to go back home again. His mom would always keep in touch and one. Day she called me and said Snoop had hooked her up with someone at Columbia Records which is where he met Jermaine Dupri and now you have the one and only Bow Wow. Performing and being in this entertainment industry is all he knows so I'm really happy he's able to do what he loves most.